Welcome back to Steam Review episode number 18, as today we're headed to Michigan Technological University in Houghton, Michigan, to see the Husky hockey team do battle at John McGinnis Ice Arena. The Michigan Tech men's hockey program competes in Division I college hockey in the CCHA, Central Collegiate Hockey Association, which consists of eight teams spread across the Midwest. In the western portion of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the UP, Michigan Tech University is situated right in the Keweenaw Peninsula in Houghton, Michigan. The team plays their home hockey games at John McInnes Student Ice Arena, which is frequently just called the MAC. The stadium originally opened up in 1972 and definitely has an old style feel to it, but it does host a pretty large capacity at 4,466 fans. The exterior of the arena has a dark brick to it and kind of resembles an old school gymnasium from the outside. It's in kind of an awkward location, tucked away on top of a hill and next to a cemetery. Maybe with the hopes that they're putting the rivals in the cemetery next door? Not really sure. But I did travel to the game from Michigan Tech's rival school, the school that I attended, Northern Michigan University in Marquette, Michigan, because we had a bus full of students and we were going to pack our away section and bring lots of energy to the game, as most of these videos were from my last trip there in November 2019. But there are a few other clips mixed in from when I visited two of my other years, as I was able to make the trip there three of the four years I went to school. And after about the two hour bus ride through the frozen tundra, we finally made it to Houghton into the stadium. All right, so in the main doors and onto the concourse we go. You can see here that the main concourse is really small and narrow. This is really close to the main entrance. As a hallway definitely has an older vibe to it as it's a very small place to filter people in and out of but I do like the elements along the walls of all the old Husky hockey team team photos, which adds a great historical touch. The concourse on the far west side of the rink gave you a great look down to the NMU coach getting interviewed before the big rivalry game. As you can see, the arena is laid out in an old barn style, with really steep seating on both of the larger ends of the ice, and empty spaces for standing at both of the ends. However, in that western end, underneath the concourse, there are some temporary bleachers added in for some additional seating when there's big crowds like tonight. And above those temporary seats and the standing concourse, they have several private suites and clubs which were a newer addition to the building, and really scale up the old barn to make it look like a more modern arena. Before the game started, we went down to the ice level to watch the Wildcats take their warm-ups. We are standing at the very edge of those temporary bleacher seats, and they offer a really nice view of the ice level. And I'm sure for visiting players, it's a really intimidating atmosphere, as the seats are so steep and it feels like the fans are right on top of you. From the rafters of the barn, they have a really nice middle hanging scoreboard, with large video boards on all four sides, and also a hockey puck shaped scrolling bar along the bottom. And you can also see there on the far side, all the different banners of the Husky hockey team's accomplishments. And trust me, I'm not afraid to admit that Michigan Heck had a much better sports program than us at NMU, which made all the rivalries quite a bit lopsided. As I remember a lot of games in multiple sports when Michigan Tech easily defeated us, but the Wildcats were never afraid to give them a run for their money. Alright, now up to our seats high up in the corner where they stuck us traveling away fans. As you can tell, with how steep the building is, it really doesn't feel like you're that far from the ice, even when you're way up high. And it does make you really dizzy when you look straight down because it feels like you're going to topple over the seats in front of you. And throughout the game, some moments got pretty raucous and we were afraid of doing so and had to be extra careful while cheering and jumping around. The team benches are also split onto different sides of the ice as the home bench for the Huskies is right underneath the press box and next to the penalty box. Meanwhile, on the side that we were sat on is the visiting bench. And that side where the tech bench is and also the penalty box is also almost completely the student section as well as the band, which creates a really great atmosphere. And speaking of the student section, here comes the Husky Pep Band as they march all the way in. Now for those of you that don't know, I was in the Northern Michigan Band and Pep Band for all four years of college, and we definitely did have a little bit of a rivalry with these guys, especially due to the fact that we're the only marching band in the UP. For football games, they don't have a marching band, they just have a pep band but their pep band has some pretty interesting people in it, and regardless of my opinions, they do bring some great atmosphere.
But as you can hear, we brought a lot of people from the band with us in the visiting section, and we were feeding it to them the entire game and started early way before Puck Drop when they first came in. And the section right behind the visiting penalty box is where the loudest fans of Michigan Tech's student section sit, as they call themselves Mitch's Misfits. And they ban to the visiting players whenever they get sent to the box. And they have lots of flags waving during stoppages of play and a cowbell going as they're singing and chanting almost the entire game. And that cowbell definitely does get on your nerves pretty quickly as a visiting fan. So I guess they're doing the task that they set out to do. As part of the many traditions at the MAC, at the midway part of the second period, the Tech students all like to remind people that it's even though they're playing the One of the other great traditions done by Michigan Tech during their hockey games is that during the second intermission, right before the start of the third period, they always play the Copper Country Anthem. It's a slower polka kind of song as everyone in the arena stands up, puts their arms around each other, and sways back and forth to it. And this song is an ode to kind of the Keweenaw Peninsula in the western portion of the Upper Peninsula. As in the 1800s, there was a giant copper rush to the western half of the UP, which established lots of different settlements and communities in the area which eventually hit a downfall around the time of the Great Depression. But that area is still known today as Copper Country. All in all, the John McInnes Ice Arena is definitely an older style arena and lacks a lot of the modern amenities. However, it's a fantastic place to take in a game and has some great atmosphere with some great student engagement which creates an absolutely magnificent scene for some quality college hockey games. Now, if you're a Michigan Tech student or graduate or something, this is probably the part that you're not going to care about as much. However, I was extremely proud of the whole NMU section because we showed up in absolute numbers and we're feeding it to the Tech student section the entire time because it really just feeds more of the intensity of the great rivalry. And better yet, at the very end of that hockey season, the NCAA actually put out an article online talking about the best student sections in college hockey. And they even referenced the presence of the NMU students at that exact game in November of 2019 at Michigan Tech, because our away atmosphere was unlike anything they'd ever seen before. And I'm so proud that I helped make that happen, because after all, sports are nothing without the environment and experience around it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'm sorry if I bash Michigan Tech a little too much. They were my rival school, and I am very passionate when it comes to my sports rivalries. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and remember, Tech still sucks.